In this video, you will find a series of exercises focused on writing if-else statements. As you go through this video, press pause after each question, try to find a solution yourself, and then unpause the video when you think you have an answer. We will then demonstrate one possible solution to each of these questions. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is install the tidybus package, if you haven't already done so, and then load it. For these exercises, we will be using the happy full data frame. Run all the code in the second chunk to load these data. After running this code, keep an eye on your console to see if R is asking you for some input. This is common when installing packages. First, create a new variable called wealthy that is equal to true if a country's logged GDP per capita is higher than average and equal to false otherwise. Count the number of trues and falses in this new variable. Pause the video and enter your code. We create this new variable using the ifElse function from the deployer package like this. And then we count the number of trues and falses using the count function. Next exercise. Create a new variable called in Europe that is equal to in Europe if a country is in Europe and equal to not in Europe for all other countries. Hint, use the region variable to solve this exercise. Count the number of countries that are in Europe and not in Europe. Pause the video and see if you can do all of this. First, let's see how many unique entries there are in the region variable by using the unique function. We see that all the European regions have the word Europe somewhere in their names, so we can make use of this information. Next, we use strdetect within ifElse to produce the correct output. Next, Create a new variable called wealthy or in Europe that is equal to yes if a country's logged GDP per capita is higher than average or if it is in Europe and equal to no for all other countries. Count the number of yes and no entries in this new variable. Pause the video and give this a go. One way to solve this exercise is to use the or operator within an if else function like this and we see that we get the desired output. Now, create a new variable called wealthy that is equal to true if a country's log GDP per capita is higher than average and equal to false for all other countries. Count the number of true and false entries for this variable, but just for Europe. Pause the video and enter your code. We see here one possible solution that first uses if else to make the new variable and then SDR detect and filter to only keep the European countries. Note that a similar looking solution below the correct solution produces the wrong answer. Can you work out why? This is an example of how even a small change to the order in which you chain your commands can produce incorrect results. Final question. Create a new variable called prosperous and in Europe that is equal to true if a country is in Europe and either has an above average ladder score or an above average logged GDP per capita. For all other countries, this variable should equal false. Count the number of true and false entries in this new variable. Pause the video and think about how you would answer this slightly tricky question. Here's one possible solution. Note the use of parentheses around the OR statement. This ensures that this gets evaluated before the AND statement. If you remove these parentheses, the AND statement gets evaluated first because of operator precedence. AND comes before OR. And that's all for this set of exercises. If you found any of this challenging or confusing, please watch or rewatch the video that describes how the if-else function works.